Hi everyone, this is a quick intro on how to diagnose pressure related issues in a hot water heating system. So here we have the boiler in this system. There are two circulation pumps uh, for two heating circuits and here on the other circuit we have a pressure uh, gauge which is showing currently about 0. 0.7 bars and the pressure uh, boiler is, is showing uh, 1.1 bar so that's a bit higher uh, the water temperature is now a bit over 80 degrees celsius and when the water gets 90 degrees the pressure will be higher and that indicates that there is a problem with the heating system the pressure should stay a lot more constant if there are no leaks in the system and that's because there is this um, pressure kettle there's a 35 liter uh, expansion tank and the expansion tank the, the lower part uh, as seen in the diagram over there is filled up with air or is supposed to be filled up with air and the top part is supposed to be filled up with water and there is a, a rubber, rubber membrane in between which uh, doesn't allow the water to, to mix with the air. So in my case since the pressure is changing when when the the uh, boiler water gets heated up this indicates that there is an uh, an expansion of the water and uh, therefore the pressure is going up and the expansion uh, tank is actually not functioning as it's supposed to uh, this is a, a, a house with a single story so the correct pressure should be around 0.6 bar so quite a bit lower but the, the uh, circulation pump won't work efficiently if the pressure goes below uh, 0.5 it won't won't work anymore well and it will start to make a sound like a bubbling sound like water is not flowing properly or there's air in the system so one thing to keep still in mind in this system is that uh, there is a pressure relief valve uh, over here which is connected to the boiler and uh, well, this is a 1.5 bar uh, pressure release valve so when the pressure pressure in the system exceeds 1.5 bar it will release the pressure and just let the water flow to the ground and uh, well that is happening sometimes if the pressure is not uh, controlled properly and that's actually the safety mechanism which prevents the, the boiler from blowing up uh, when the water heats up and if there is no way for, for release to, releasing the pressure it would lead up to, to something in the system blowing up most likely the boiler. So what's wrong with this system since the pressure is, is not staying constant uh, and uh, there I don't think there are any leaks in the system I, I just changed the, the pressure valve I'll leave a link in the description when I have released that but there is another issue which is the expansion tank 
and just a quick way the drag knows that is to open up the the cap which is covering the the this is a uh, um, the same system as, as used on car tires so uh, you, you can connect a pressure cage which fits your on your car tires to check the pressure here but uh, if you just press press here on the uh, on my case it, it doesn't make any sound so that means that there is no air in the system and well it's not really flowing water out either so the the rubber uh, membrane inside is, is not broken but my guess is that since I'm tapping on the tank it doesn't sound really empty my guess is that it's mostly filled up with with water and there is no air in the system anymore so I, I could try to add air uh, with, with a compressor to see if it still works but the pressure on this expansion tank is already like I don't know 14 years old or something like that so most likely it, it might be broken and uh, that's the reason why the pressure is changing when the water temperature in the system or in the boiler is is changing and with by fixing the expansion tank uh, I could set the pressure so that it would stay constant or, or much more constant than this so again I will leave a link in the description once I have uh, released the video for for changing the pressure uh, release valve and also when I have released the video for fixing the expansion tank um, so that's it for this video please uh, consider subscribing and leaving comments down below if you have any suggestions or questions I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can hope to see you in the next one Bye for now.